In the previous video, we introduced what is mean by the noise temperature, and we said that for any microwave circuit, we can replace uh, the effect of the noise in the microwave circuit by an equivalent noise temperature. The question now, how to measure the equivalent noise temperature for a specific circuit? Uh, effectively, uh, the most direct way to measure uh, the effective uh, noise temperature of any circuit uh, to put this circuit at a physical temperature equal zero Kelvin and measure the output noise from this circuit and in this case the output noise it would be the value of K multiplied by the effective temperature TE multiplied by uh, the operating bandwidth because the physical temperature uh, does not introduce any additional noise in this case however the main problem in this way is that it is impossible to reach zero Kelvin so we should have another technique to measure uh, the effective noise temperature without the need to reduce the temperature to zero Kelvin so we say that uh, in principle the equivalent noise temperature of a component can be determined by measuring the output power when a matched load at zero Kelvin is connected to the input of this component and effectively this is impossible so in brackets of course a zero Kelvin source temperature cannot be obtained so a different method must be used uh, we are going to present a method based on two matched loads uh, and connected in somehow in Y uh, configuration so this is usually called Y method and we are going to calculate it by using Y factor method so if two matched loads at significantly different temperatures are available so uh, I have matched load 1 and matched load 2 load 1 is at temperature T1 and uh, load 2 at temperature T2 and T1 and T2 has complete difference between them so this will introduce certain noise noise 1 and this will introduce noise 2 and from noise 1 and noise 2 we can uh, obtain or calculate uh, the effective temperature of the internal circuit uh, inside the circuit itself so if two matched loads at significantly different temperatures are available then the Y factor method can be applied uh, the Y factor method uh, is simply I have two uh, matched loads at two different temperatures T1 and T2 assume that T1 is a hot one and T2 is cold uh, for example maybe T1 at the ambient temperature at the room temperature uh, 290 uh, Kelvin degrees uh, on the other hand T2 for example could be uh, liquid nitrogen for example uh, can be uh, 77 uh, Kelvin degrees uh, so 290 Kelvin is much greater than 77 so if I have two matched loads at two different temperatures T1 and T2 and I connect these two matched loads to the input of uh, the microwave circuit or RF circuit and I'm measuring the output noise at the output microwave circuit so the noise at the first case it would be N1 and the noise at the second case it would be N2 based on the definition of uh, the effective noise temperature and the noise temperature of the input resistor it can be uh, obtain that noise one it would be the noise due to the first matched load at temperature T1 multiplied by the gain of the amplifier so it would be G multiplied by K T1 multiplied by the operating bandwidth of the circuit or the amplifier plus the noise due to the internal source which can be represented in terms of an additional resistor with effective temperature TE so it would be G multiplied by K multiplied by TE TE here represents the effective temperature of the amplifier or the effective noise temperature of the amplifier multiplied by the operating bandwidth on the other hand when the amplifier is connected to the cold matching load Noise 2, it would be the noise due to 
is a cold matched load plus the internal noise. So it would be G K multiplied by T2 multiplied by the bandwidth speed plus the internal noise. It would be G multiplied by K multiplied by the equivalent noise temperature of the amplifier or of the circuit EE multiplied by the bandwidth. It is quite clear that noise one should be greater than noise two because the temperature T1 should be greater than the temperature two two T2. So the ratio N1 over N2 we are going to call this ratio as the Y factor. So the Y factor So the value of Y should be defined as the value of N1 over N2 and from this value we can obtain that N1 over N2 it would be GKT1P plus GKTEV or GKT2B plus GKTEV JKB is a common factor in all of them, so it would be simply T1 plus TE over T2 over TE. And as I said, N1 is greater than N2, so the Y factor is greater than unity. Uh, so T1 plus TE over T2 plus TE, which is greater than unity. By solving this equation, in terms of the value of Y, we can determine the value of the effective temperature TE. So TE should be simply the temperature T1 minus Y multiplied by the temperature T2 over Y minus 1. This is how to measure the effective or equivalent temperature for this circuit. As an example of noise temperature measurement, we say that we have an X-band amplifier as again 20 dB and 1 GHz bandwidth. Its equivalent noise temperature is to be measured by Y factor method. The following data are obtained. The value of T1 is ambient temperature, uh, 290 degrees room temperature, and at this temperature, uh, the noise the measured noise it was uh, minus 62 dBm. On the other hand, uh, the cold matched load at T2 it was at T2 equals 77 Kelvin, which is liquid nitrogen. And when this amplifier is connected to the cold uh, matched load, the output noise N2 it was minus 64. 0.7 dBm. It can be noted here, this noise is less than this noise because we are talking in terms of dB. So this is more negative than this one. It is required to determine the equivalent noise temperature of the amplifier, Te. And if the amplifier is used with a source which having an equivalent noise temperature, T source, equal uh, 450 Kelvin, what would be the output noise? bar from the amplifier in dBm. So let us start at the beginning with uh, calculating the equivalent noise temperature. Uh, as we said in the Y method, uh, the Y method depends on the ratio between N1 over N2, but uh, this ratio would be in the magnitude. So if you are talking in terms of dBm, uh, so it would be N1 minus N2 would be in dB. And we can convert it from dB to ratio. So Y equals N1 over N2 uh, in logarithmic uh, function or in logarithmic form. We can say that Y equals N1 minus N2 in dB. And it should be not here. This is in dBm and this is in dBm. And the difference between them is in dB. Okay. Because actually the difference between dBm and dBm, it would be ratio of power in milliwatt to the ratio of power in milliwatt. So it would be uh, dimensionless, so it would be in dB. N1 minus N2 in dB, so it would be minus 62 minus minus 64. So it would be 
2.7 dB. This is our value of the y factor in dB. Uh, to convert it directly to uh, a ratio, we are going to take 10 to the power 2.7 over 10. So it would be 1.86. We have obtained the value of y. From the value of y, we can obtain uh, the equivalent noise temperature for this amplifier, Te. It would be T1 minus y T2 over y minus 1. T1 is 290 degrees. T2 is 77 degrees. Uh, and we already obtained y as 1.86. So from this we can obtain the equivalent temperature is 170 Kelvin. This is equivalent uh, noise temperature for this amplifier. Now, if this amplifier is connected to a noise source uh, with equivalent noise temperature 450 Kelvin, the total output noise, it would be noise output, it would be J multiplied by K multiplied by the noise source T multiplied by B plus the internal noise J K multiplied by the equivalent noise temperature for the amplifier multiplied by the bandwidth B. Uh, this again 20 dB uh, is effectively uh, as a ratio is 100 but Tosman constant K is 1.38 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 23 the operating bandwidth is 1 gigahertz. 1 gigahertz is 10 to the power 9. And JKB is a common factor. So we can take JKB as a common factor multiplied by T source plus uh, T effective or T equivalent. T source is 45, uh, 450 degrees. And the equivalent temperature we have already calculated as 170 Kelvin. So we are going to sum these two temperatures and multiply by this vector. So the noise output power is 8.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 10. Let us divide it by uh, 10 to the power minus 3 to the V ratio to 1 milliwatt and take uh, 10 uh, log this value. By taking 10 log this value over 10 to the power minus 3, we obtain that the output noise power in dBm is minus 60.7 dBm. Okay, this is how to measure uh, the noise temperature of a receiver or a microwave circuit. Uh, in the following video, we are going to talk about another uh, important uh, definition for the noise is the noise figure. And we are going to see what it means by the noise figure and what is the relation between the noise figure and the effective or equivalent noise temperature. This is what we are going to talk about in the following.